Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, function overloading. So we have heard about function overloading as a part of polymorphism in each and every programming language that we have uh, come across. So PostgreSQL also allows that uh, one or more function could have the same name, but uh, the arguments of the function should be different. So this is called overloading. So same name and different arguments on different parameters is called as overloading in case if you did not know it. So PostgreSQL on runtime determines that which function is being called on the basis of the input arguments. So this is a basic property of, uh, post of uh, overloading. So uh, the second thing that we'll be discussing is returning table data so what we have been missing since a long time is that we, we are using functions that are returning integer values but we are not really dealing dealing with the tables that we have created the company table for example we are not returning data from that table so today i'm going to teach you how to you know return the table data or uh, how to return table values or a particular value from a table by input parameters so in this tutorial we're, we're gonna learn about both function overloading with uh, returning table data so i'm going to create two functions and we're going to overload them so in the first function what we are going to do is in the first function i'll create a function get employee so i will get the employees uh, id and the name according to the input parameter of age for example if i input 23 then i will get all the employees the id and the name of those employees whose name is 23 and i'll write a similar function get employee with two parameters this time that is the age and the address or the location so for example if i enter 23 and mumbai so i'll get those employees whose age is 23 and the location is mumbai so these are the two things or uh, these are the two functions that we're going to create which would have the same name and we will overload them and we'll also show that how to return the table data from your functions so we just begin by create function get underscore emp and eh integer so this is just the age parameter that we're going to accept that is the input parameter and this is user defined this is for age so the next thing we're going to do as we said is that we're going to return the table data so we we'll just add returns that's returns table and what we are going to return is an identity of uh, integer type and a name of text type so this is just for what you're going to return so you could name it anything you want just remember just don't name it what it is in the actual table for example in my actual company table i has i i have id as the primary key that is id and the name n a m e as the name so don't you know name it the same otherwise there would be ambiguity here so ident and the name is an integer and a text from the table that we are going to return so this is just to signify that the next thing is the as just start the body from info and begin just type return query and select id and name from company where age equal to e age and end info close the body and language is plpg sql so what we did here is we just created a function get employee with uh, an age parameter it returns the table data that is it returns the id and the name so this is just to signify what it returns it returns an integer and a text 
the body begins here so we are returning a sql statement that is a query a basic sql query running here matching the age in the table with the age here in the parameter and ending ending the body and the language is the normal plpg sql so just run this and you see that it runs successfully and you see that i have a get employee so similarly you could copy and uh, just add one more parameter here that is location of text type and it will return the same thing and just add one more parameter and address i guess it is address only just need to confirm it tables company columns and address yes it is address equal to location I'll just uh, see otherwise it be a keyword so as you see that i have overloaded this function now i have two parameters and the same name and you see age and location this time so it returns the same values and uh, the query you see just one more condition and and condition and just ending it so just run it and you see it run again and the functions are now eight so i have get emp and get emp of integer and integer and text so they have been successfully overloaded now we just need to test it just to uh, select get underscore emp and age is 23 so you see i get the records in an array form that is the id number and the name of the employee here could just see here and similarly you could just write Mumbai and you see that I get five records now so this is the overloading of the operator so one more thing that uh, you would notice is that uh, PostgreSQL it returns a table with one column but it holds array of all the company table records so but in regular practice we won't want uh, we, we want an individual row instead of an array so you know to separate this we use for loops which i'll be covering later so hopefully this concept the main concept of overloading and returning the table data is clear to you right now so guys thank you for watching this tutorial subscribe for more and stay tuned